Hello from Paris, my name is Pierre Gaffier and you're gonna watch our short film Relativity Explained to Children but first of all, I would like to say a few words for my defense for not being with you tonight in Lincoln. Albert Einstein once said that everything was relative time, space, but yet it still takes four hours to go from Paris, France to Lincoln, England. That's a shame, but don't put the blame on the Brexit, put the blame on Albert Einstein. More seriously, this weekend I have to be a juror in a festival in south of France. It's an old commitment that I cannot cancel. I wrote this film as an homage to my father. Like many children, it takes time to find the ideal dialogue with your father. Just listen to the beautiful Peter Gabriel song father son. My father is very reserved in his private life, but I know that in his professional life he was really enthusiastic. He was an electronic teacher and he was very cool with his students. That's the male's curse. Sometimes you cannot be as flamboyant at home that you are at work. That's the contradiction that I wanted to depict behind the mask of a 10 minutes comedy. How a sleeping father will become almost hectic just to communicate with his son. In cinema, it's very difficult to show father-son's relationships. Maybe it's because when you're a father, you can fail. That's probably the reason why James Bond never had children, because you know, James can't fail. During the preparation of the film, we saw many actors to play the part of the father, and some are really famous in France. But my assistant kept telling me about one actor, not well known, but who had long hair. Out of the blue, I decided to hire him, and he went to the hairdressers and cut his hair. Three days after, when he sat on the sofa for the opening sequence of the film, I was stunned and silent. This guy, he looks like my own father. It had been totally unconscious until then. Then I realized that this film was very much about my own childhood, much more than I initially thought. That's why I wanted to show an unconditional love from a father to his child, me. In fact, this film could have been called Relativity Explained to Parents because they never know what their kids are going to remember the love and the teaching they gave to them. When Einstein wrote his famous theory, E equal MC2, he knew that nobody would understand, but everyone will hear about it. My film is the opposite. It's a modest story but I hope that everyone will connect with this little boy. What interested me was also the fact that such an abstract theory, like the theory of relativity, can have a very effective cure for a little family that has problems. So thanks very much, Albert. You could have run a family counselor company. They say that it takes a village to raise a child, well, for me, it took a short film to understand better my parents. I wish you a happy festival. Bye, au revoir.